Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I am wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So guys, I just wanted to check in with you and just let you know today I'm keeping my word. I told you guys last week that I was going to be dropping a free ebook this week, and it is today. It is today. It is today. This ebook is for all of you who feel like God has been telling you to move in this season and you have no idea what to do. You may not know where to go. And let me tell y'all, I address the three ways God may tell you to move physically, maybe another state, another country, another city, another house, you know, another apartment. Um, mentally, God may be calling some of you to Romans 12 and 2 where you have to make some mindset shifts. You have to change your mind. It might not even be a physical location. He might just be trying to get you to see things another way. And then, of course, there is the spiritual move. For some of you, God is trying to bring you to an awakening, okay? And usually, there are multiple things that could, could be going back and forth in your mind about what that could possibly look like. So I basically give you some quotes. I give you three prayers. I give you some scriptures. And I give you 10 reasons why God might be moving you. Okay. And then I also put a little bonus in the back for those of you who are physically moving, but I really want you to get into it. It's not a whole lot of information, but it's pertinent information. And I do believe for those of you who might be tripping about it. And for those of you who are really just not, you are just not feeling like this is something you want to be bothered with. And I get it. Oh my God. Like I totally get it because listen, you know, it's annoying when you know that God has all of these great things for you, but then he comes and tells you, oh yeah, you got to move. And you're like, yo, in some cases you're like, I don't have no money. I don't know where to go. I have a good job. Like, what are you talking about? And in this other situations, y'all, he may, you may be in a situation and you feel totally comfortable and you're fine. He's like, yeah, nah, you got to move away from that. That is hard. That, that could be quite jarring for people because for some of you who are experiencing this, you know, this, this season and this time, guess what? You don't feel like there's a reason for you to move. That's why those 10 reasons can really give you some perspective because it might not be what you're thinking. It might not be coming together the way that you thought, because let me tell y'all something when God gets really serious with us about making things happen a certain way and for us to hear him and to, to move, um, you know, in a way that we don't think makes a whole lot of sense. Guess what? It doesn't stop it from having to happen. It still has to happen. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's very important too. you know, now that it is, you know, uh, being made evident that God is really working with you and dealing with you in this time concerning a move I'm urging you to be open-minded for the, for the people listening to me right now, you have just been going nuts. Like you're constantly thinking about it. You know, you just, Oh my God, I'm, I'm just worried about it. Okay. We got to shut all of that down because that is going to delay your process. You have to relax. And I talk about some things in there where it talks about how you have to surrender. Okay. This is going to be very important. And I'm going to give you three things that I did not put in the book that I want to tell you that the Lord dropped in my spirit after I delivered the books out. So, and again, I'm saying delivered it out, meaning that I uploaded it. It is a digital, it is a digital ebook. So once you, once you go to the site and you hit the link right below this episode, all you have to do is put in your information. It'll take you straight there and boom, it'll go right to your email. It'll pop right up. In fact, it, it won't even go, it'll go to your email, but as soon as you finish and it says you're checked out, you can press it and it'll pop up right then and there. So it's easy peasy, right? But here's the first thing. First thing, stop telling people about the move. Don't tell anybody about the move right now. Don't do it. Okay? That's the first thing. Do not do it. For obvious reasons. I'm not going to get super deep and into it because I, uh, I want you to just let God lead you on how. Okay? Number two, be careful who you have around you in this season and you make sure that if it is especially a physical move. See, like a mindset shift 
move that's like a mental move or like a spiritual move those can be done internally the physical moves can get people talking get conversations talking right you have to be so careful about who you are around in this season because if you are around people who are word cursing you people who are saying that's crazy you're not that don't you shouldn't have did that like that is not going to end well first of all it's going to kill your self-esteem second of all people who do not it's y'all, especially people who are not centered, especially people who, you know, not praying every day, especially people who, you know, don't have a relationship with God, especially people who, you know, they do things their way. They're not doing things God's way. It's a lot of people, y'all, that they just say this and that about God, but they, they do what they want. And then they put his name on it. You cannot be around people like that right now because God is going to tell you to do stuff for some of you with the physical move. It's just not going to make any sense. It's not going to make any sense. And if you are around the wrong people, they will make you feel horrible for that. And I'm telling you right now that will complicate your situation. Okay. And thirdly, I want to share with you that not only do you have to not share with anybody for a minute, you just have to pray it out until God leads you to talk to people. Number two, be careful who you are around in this season when it comes to the physical move because some people might put their mouth on you and they may say you're making poor choices and bad decisions. When God has already given you the roadmap, if you start taking in those people information, it is going to mess you up, okay? And then the last thing I want to say is that the Lord wants you to get creative. So for some of you with, 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 which y'all now why I can't get this out <laughs> for some of you with this last one. Okay. I'm not quite sure how God is going to show you what to do, but be open to creativity. You're going to have to be creative with this move. So I'll give you an example. If God is calling some of you to a mindset shift, y'all, that is, try to say that 10 times. Picture that. Mindset shift, mindset shift. You're going to end up cursing if you try to say that too fast. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I got to be me. But y'all, them, them letters, the S's and the H's and the F's and the ooh, it's, I'm telling you, it could be a disaster if you if you try to say all of that real fast together. So let me slow myself down. Well, some of y'all be in the tizzy talking about Robin was saying something crazy on the thing. Anyway, but for some of you, I'll give you an example. A mindset shift, creativity. God might create, he might drop a creative idea on you. And it could be something that you're like, man, this is foreign to me. I never did something like this. It may be something one of your friends was doing or something you've seen. And God is like tugging you to do it. That could be him pulling on you to open up that door of creativity concerning this move. And what will happen is when you begin to endeavor that creative idea that he put in you, then that will cause you to be like, okay, you know what? I need to push forward with this. And then what will happen is you create this new thing and then you've shifted your mind from, I've never done something like that before. Hey, I actually enjoy that. I've been in a deadbeat job all this time. I listened to this creative thing. God told me to do that. I never do that. I've never done before. And boom, I'm on to the next thing in my life. Now, you know, I'm shifted. I'm not thinking the way I used to think before. So God may be coming at you in a way that you have not experienced and I just want you to be open-minded because I'm not quite sure how that's going to play out for you, but it is definitely a thing. It's a real thing. And God is going to be speaking to you specifically on what that is. So y'all, this is a very short video, very quick. But as you can see, with the three things that God is suggesting, even in the video, the parts that's not in the book, I think God has a very clear plan for all of us. And y'all, 99% of us are moving in some way. Again, physically, spiritually, or mentally. Some people have been working on things for a long time. And then they're like, you know what? I'm going to have to change this because this is not working. You know, some people you're doing things. You're like, yo, I'm not seeing any return on this. I'm not seeing any return on my investment. I'm bleeding out. Um, you know, I keep working on this project. It's not coming together. You know, I've already done this and that. Like some of you may be coming into some realizations and it is, you're going to have to move. You're going to have to move your position. And a lot of you, it's mental. Everybody's not moving and packing up and going to another place physically. But some of you, this thing is going to hit home because it's about the, the, the spiritual aspects. It's about the mental aspects. And although 
I put some interesting, you know, scriptures in there and a couple of quotes. For those of you who have more of the mental and spiritual deals, sometimes things are just given to you to just provoke change in a sense where you might just need to specifically sit with the Lord and say, okay, Father, listen, I need the Holy Spirit to lead me because guess what? I don't really know what's going on and this is beyond me. And if this thing is spiritual, I can't, I can't put my finger on it. So I need you to interject for me. You know, this is a mental thing. I know with my common sense, I shouldn't be doing this. I know with my common sense, I should be doing that. But I, I know you're trying to move me mentally to get away from this because I'm fixated on this. This is what I've been doing. This is what I want to happen. And the Lord might be saying, you got to cut that out. Some of y'all got to circle back to my last um, video. And it was about um, some of you have had dreams that you put on hold and God has given back to you. For some of y'all, that word is connected to the move. Again, whichever move it is, one of the three is connected to that. So you know what I'll do? I'm going to put that right beneath the book link as well. And you can check that out too. And if it's for you, then all good. So I just want to say thank you guys. Love you guys. And I want to do a follow-up. Please email, email me at info at unwiredtoinspire.com. Also, the links are below my journals. You can get a dope journal. If you want me to create anything for you or to add more tools to help you, I am here to serve. I would love to do that. Please let me know. And uh, yeah, make sure you hit the community page. I post on there every day. Not only is the link to the book underneath this video, but it is also on the community page. It is also at imwiredtoinspire.com. It is also at robinacolek.com. So I try to make every possible way for you guys to get it so that you can, you know, be helped in whichever way um, is going to bless you. So again, I am Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist on Wired to Inspire, and I hope you are too.